To write the formula for copper 2 fluoride, we first write the element symbols. So we have copper, that's Cu, and then fluoride, F. Because we have a metal and a nonmetal, we have an ionic compound. So we need to think about ionic charge. For the copper, that's a transition metal. But they give us the charge here. This 2 here means the charge is going to be plus 2. Fluorine, that's in group 17, sometimes called 7A. That's always minus 1. So these charges, they need to add up to zero because copper fluoride, copper 2 fluoride, that's a neutral compound. It doesn't say ion after it. There's no plus or minus. So because it's neutral, these have to add up to zero. There's a little bit of a trick we can do. We can move the 2 down here and the 1 over here. We don't write the 1 by convention, and we end up with a formula for copper 2 fluoride, CuF2. It's called the crisscross method. Let's check our work. We said copper, that's copper 2, so we have plus 2, and then fluorine, minus 1. Each one is minus 1. 2 times minus 1, minus 2. 1 times plus 2, we get plus 2. So plus 2, minus 2, they add up to 0, give us a net charge of 0. So the formula for copper 2 fluoride is CuF2. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.